if you look at this, this was actually the original Sundock concept. It was all, Gene actually wanted to do it all in hand beading. This is all put on by a needle, by two needles and thread. It, this, this particular type of art is called uh, French crochet beading. And it took Gene about uh, 60 man hours and he wanted to do it this way for Elvis. The suit was made in 1974. And at the end of Elvis's life, when he uh, was going on his last uh, group of tours, uh, they took some ideas out to, to Elvis to look at. And Elvis, you know, didn't really care that much at first for that suit. He wore it and it was like, you know, it just covers too much of me. When Elvis started wearing it again, uh, their, the last part of his life, uh, he really fell in love with that suit. So they took it back out there and uh, Gene had wrote 76 forever because and wrote his name because he was wanting Elvis to know that, hey, this would be a great concept for you to go into. Uh, if you really like that sundial suit now, look at what we can do. But in 76, when Gene had heard through the grapevine that Elvis fell in love with the suit, which again, in 74, he really didn't care for because, you know, Elvis was slimmer at that time. Romano, the tailor, took it back out to Elvis to show him and see what if he wanted some new suits. And I said, you know, you, now then you look really good in the sundial. This might be a, a new approach for you. And uh, Elvis looked at it and he really liked it, but never really got back to him about it. That's pretty much how that came about. And uh, it is a beautiful piece. And Gene gave that to me back many years ago saying, Butch, this was the original concept behind the sundial suit. Thank you.